here we have the young wild newt swan that we rescued. Went to the vet and then the vet released it back to us and he's come back here. We put some seeds down yesterday. That's where he's at. That's why he's there because he's probably hoovering up the last of the seeds. But he used to come to us at the big lake, but since we captured him, took him to the vet, he doesn't want us to be there. I don't think he wants to be captured again, that's why. But he was just sat there cleaning. So, um, I saw his energy change there when he heard the. So he's paddling, I can see him paddling with only one leg, that left leg, it's still up, so he's not using it. So it's not ready yet. Yeah, if you see down here, we put the seeds all down there. Can't see any on the, on the bottom. So we'll put them back down there, put some more back down there. He's just hiding around the corner. I think it's going to take a bit of time to gain his trust again. He heard that and he moved. Shaking the seeds, chucking the seeds, triggers their brain, their natural response to feed. Because they're wild and they can't just nip to the shop. So he knows I'm here to feed him. Or her, it's quite a small one. Oh <laughs> bless, wagging the tail. But you can see that foot still up. So this is a quite a good resting place. Quite a good resting place for, for the swans. It's quite a good idea actually. So far anyway, <laughs> so far so good. So we've got all that in there, look. That's plenty. Oh, he's coming over. Ooh. Ooh. Must be hungry. Here you go, buddy. Come on then. Come on then, I'm not going to get you. See, so standoffish now. What we're going to do is <coughs> stand back. You go back. Because even though he wants the food, he's looking at my energy, remembering my energy, and remembering the last time it was for him being captured. That's what's going on in his brain. <laughs> but at least he's, he's all right, he's here, he's feeding, he's cleaning, and he's no other swans to bully him. So this is good. I'm quite pleased with this uh, scenario so far. We just want to come down one day and see that he's paddling with both legs. The only downside of this is we've got antibiotics and pain relief to give him, but he's not trusting enough yet. I think, uh, yeah, later on we'll come back with some bread and we'll put some of the antibiotics in the bread. <laughs> the coot down there eating his seeds. <laughs> Morning, how are you? Morning, yeah. Good are you? Yeah. Yeah. So he's not going to, I don't think he's going to come onto us anytime soon. So we'll get some bread, we'll put that in the anti, the antibiotics and pangolin in that, and then we'll make sure he eats that. That achieves, achieves the aim and uh, helps his recovery. Okie dokie. The lake.
And if anyone else who lives in the area wants to come down, the location is, that's Morrison's near the B&Q in Doncaster. And you can park in Morrison's car park there and just walk through here. Bless him. Namaste.